Hello, my friends. Namaste and welcome to Oregon Corner. I am the Organite Catechist. All of our how-to videos document the journey of an idea, a thought, or an intention into a beautiful manifestation that reminds us how powerful we truly are. Once you begin to work with the elemental and alchemical energies involved in Organite, your life will change in the most amazing ways. Synchronicities and serendipities will follow you everywhere. Today's journey is about the sacral chakra, the swadhisthana, or vital force. The sacral chakra is a wheel or a vortex of energy that is located in your lower abdomen. The sacral chakra governs creativity and passion. A balanced sacral chakra creates a space for your body-spirit complex to decide what it's passionate about. The sound frequency you're hearing is 417 hertz. I chose this based on the solfeggio frequency scale. There are many scales you can use to tune your chakras, this one resonates with me the most. For more information on the sacral chakra and the solfeggio frequencies, please follow the links in the description. The organic and inorganic materials used for this project are placed before you. Clear quartz crystal, silver plated chain, carnelian jasper and citrine, sand with copper nuggets, silver colored wire, blue colored wire, and a reflective sticker of the sacral chakra symbol. I recommend smudging your space and materials with sage and palo santo. The first step in the creation of the sacral chakra organite is the wrapping of the quartz crystal. Your crystal has been cleared and charged in sunlight and moonlight, then programmed to a frequency of 417 hertz and the intention of sacral chakra healing. The spiraling wire initiates a vortex of energy around the crystal. Some people will feel a buzz or a tingle from handling the wire-wrapped crystal. I'll suspend the wrapped crystal from two popsicle sticks glued together. And then pour orange tinted resin into the apex. Although I have seen other colors used, orange is the color most people will associate with the sacral chakra. Orange is a secondary color, meaning it is created by combining the primary colors of yellow and red. Orange is a lively and passionate color that stimulates creativity and abundance. Once the apex has hardened, the compression of the crystal in the curing resin will create a piezoelectric effect around the organite. This generates a toroidal or donut-shaped field of energy coursing with sacral chakra healing energy and intention. I will remove the suspension apparatus and cut the wire to begin the next layer. In this layer, I will pour lighter orange tinted resin and then add silver plated chain along the edge. Silver is an excellent alchemical metal for boosting crystal energy and tension. Its reflectivity creates a positive feedback loop with the quartz and other minerals used in the organite. Next, I will pour a layer of clear resin to completely submerge the crystal. The sacral chakra is most associated with the element of water. Here, I will create a spiral from the blue colored wire. 
This will represent the element of water and create a stunning contrast to the orange apex. Water is an excellent element to clear, balance, and heal your sacral chakra. For example, taking a hot bath, playing in the rain, or swimming in the ocean. Our brain waves actually change to a calmer and more relaxed pattern when we just sit by a body of water. Next, I will pour another layer of clear resin to submerge the blue spiral. Before this layer completely cures, I will place several stones consisting of jasper, carnelian, and citrine. Jasper comes in many colors, but red-orange jasper is a stone of loyalty and protection. The confidence and stability one feels with their tribe of family and peers standing ready to back you up is invoked by this rich and stimulating stone. Jasper also has a very feminine energy, which is unique for stones and minerals in the orange-red frequency band. Carnelian is the highest vibing stone in the orange-red frequency bands. You don't even have to believe in the metaphysical powers of minerals and stones to benefit from its effects. Carnelian will essentially help you to love yourself so much that everyone around you will want your affection and your time. Combine Jasper and Carnelian with Citrine, as we have done, and the abundance will flow into your field and everyone around you. Citrine is known as the Merchant Stone, increasing profitability in business and entrepreneurial endeavors. Before this layer completely cures, I will add four larger Jasper stones to the four corners of the pyramid. This next layer will contain orange-tinted shimmering resin. And to the resin, I will add beach sand mixed with elemental copper nuggets. Beach sand is granulated quartz and coral, providing a reference to the water element. Additionally, copper provides an alchemical boost to the sacral chakra intention. As this layer cures, I will add the reflective sacral chakra sticker. This symbol contains six lotus flower petals, a circle, and a crescent moon. The six petals of the Sacral Chakra Lotus are associated with qualities that must be overcome to purify your Sacral Chakra or Svaristana. Anger, jealousy, cruelty, hatred, pride, and desire. The circle represents the cycles of birth, reproduction, death, decay, and rebirth. The moon symbolizes the cycles of change and the flow of one cycle into the next. Finally, I will add a layer of clear blue resin to complete the pyramid. Blue giving an aesthetic nod to the element of water. The resin will cure in the mold an additional 12 to 24 hours, and then we can demold the sacral chakra organite. I love this organite. The contrasting blue and orange colors with the alchemical power of carnelian, jasper, and citrine. The sacral chakra organite is the second of the chakra series. These pyramids are slightly smaller, so you can collect all seven and use them for your own energy healing work. Peace, love, and namaste. Please join me for the Sacral Chakra meditation to follow.